Today I have discovered something which may be very important for understanding the physics of UFO levitation. Our experimental apparatus will have six wire coils. You can see those six coils there. And then we have a magnet in the middle with a little silicone bead on top of it. And when the magnet spins and rises up, it'll push the pole up and transmit that energy in a vertical force. Let's see why we built that apparatus and how it works. We know that UFOs spin fly using a rotating magnetic field. Here's a crop picture from 1994. Those wavy lines mean rotating magnetic field, just as they do on Earth. You see it's flying. Here's another one from 2014, rotating magnetic field. And there's a disk magnet here, just like that magnet there. And it's sitting in the center on a pole. Now on top of the pole, there's a little bead, and I find that a silicone bead of about 20 millimeters soft and elastic is the right bead to put there, and that's the bead. So let's watch and see how this works when I turn the power on. We have the three-phase power ready, and there'll be six wire coils arranged with three-phase power as U and U, V and V, W and W. In the center, there's a 70 millimeter magnet with a 14 millimeter hole in the middle, and above it, there's a little 20 millimeter silicone elastic rod with a stop and it's sitting on a 6.3 millimeter aluminum rod. When we turn on the three phase power the magnet starts spinning along with the field. No surprises there. And then when it spins faster it will rise like a top and also push the pole upward. Having, a la having an elastic silicone bead is very important for this. At the beginning the pole opposite rotates opposite the magnet. The magnet's clockwise, the pole's anti-clockwise. As we go faster, it jumps up like that. So, with tremendous upward force, the magnet is applying on the pole. You can't push it back down again. So we've transmitted the upward force of a spinning magnet to the upward force on a stationary aluminium rod. Skeptics might say, oh that means nothing. This aluminium rod might have screws on it, although it's just a bare rod I got from the hardware store, and the magnet might have screws on it and it's just climbing like a screw. Well that's not true whatsoever and the best way to test that is we flip the magnet over from north to south. So if there was any mechanical screw motion, the magnet should go downward. But let's see what happens when we flip it and turn the power on again. Watch the magnet go upward. It spins in the same way. And it goes upward in exactly the same way. We can't push it down again. There must be about... I would think there might be 300 to 500 100 grams of upward force there. This is very important because if we imagine a UFO with six wire coils around the outside, typical of most contactee descriptions of UFOs, and a magnet spinning in the middle, again, what contactees say, that if the magnet starts spinning strongly and it pushes the pole upward, that upward force of the pole may be transmitted to the rest of the framework of the UFO and also carry the wire coils upward. Now how did I come to build this unusual apparatus? Well there are many crop pictures which describe it. Here's a nice simple one. Six wire coils around the outside and a magnet spinning in the middle. You can see this picture is practically identical to the apparatus which I've just made here. Six wire coils and a magnet spinning in the middle. Even a very low IQ person could figure that out. Now it was shown in more detail in 2014 near Averbury. We have six wire coils which are into the crop woven very fine arrangements as you can see you can check the original crop picture and you can see something spinning in the middle I walk through these wire coils they're only about a foot apart and they go back and forth like for AC power in the middle we can see something spinning very clearly and the something rising up in the middle like on that little bead and that's just this thing here with these six wire coils around it. 
So that's exactly what I built here. And you know what? The apparatus works exactly as was drawn in crops. Conclude, let's watch our friend, the UFO drive, spin and rise one more time. Six wire coils around the outside with three phase power, magnet in the middle, silicone bead just above the magnet. It starts to spin. Notice how the this low stage, the rod is going opposite the magnet, like a Newtonian reaction. Clockwise for the magnet, anti-clockwise for the rod. But now as we go faster, this is about 10 hertz. At some frequency, the magnet will just jump up like a top. The same as the rising of the top. And you can push it down, it'll just rise up again. A little faster. You can push it down. It's very hard to push it down as we go faster. This is probably about 500 grams of force. We'll study this further in future videos. Thank you to the stars. I walked a little closer. I wanted to really see what it was, but it was moving. An instinct told me to back up, so uh, I backed up to, to stay, stand about at least 15 feet away from him. And I thought, something, I thought well, that's kind of odd. It's going the opposite way. It's going counterclockwise. It's not going clockwise. It's going counterclockwise. Grass was moving one way, and the machine was going the other way.